Hey everyone, welcome back to Accounting Excel. Uh, today I'm going to do a video on how to do a sum if by color in Microsoft Excel. So if you look here, um, what I'm working on today is I have uh, an accounts payable run that I'm doing. I'm going to make some AP payments and I want to sort um, my payments by check, by ACH, and by wire um, so that later I can check against my bank account you know, what what amount of checks came out, the total ACH that came out, the total wires that came out. So to do that, um, I'm going to sort these by the color here. Or I'm going to put colors on these cells and they're going to sum up over here. Um, and then our totals are going to match. So Microsoft Excel doesn't have a sum by color or a sum if by color. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to File click on options and we're going to customize a ribbon and we're going to click on this developer uh, box so that it adds it to the main tab and click OK and then you can see up here that it, it adds it to the main tab okay and so what you, what you need to do then is just click on developer and then we're going to go to visual basic and we're going to create a new module. So we're going to go to Insert Module. Okay. So to get started on this, and I'm going to put a function in here. Uh, it's a couple lines long, um, and I'm going to pay, I'm going to put this in the description so that if somebody needs to do this, they should be able to just copy and paste this function into their Visual Basic and uh, hopefully everything will work out for them. Um, so the first thing I'm just going to type in is function color sum and then I'm going to cell color as range. I'm going to go R1 as range and that kind of sets up our function there and the next th the next piece that I'm going to put in here is uh, application dot volatile application volatile volatile um, and then what this does is it makes it makes it so whenever I change colors on my cells, it updates it automatically. If you don't have this in there, you have to go and you have to click on the cell and push enter and then it'll update. And I'll kind of show you that um, later in the video. Um, so the next thing is I'm going to do dim. And I'm just going to go ahead and type this in here. Um, Really, what you need to do is you just need to basically copy this this function. Either type it in or copy it.
Okay, so we have our function there. Um, make sure this is a one and not an L. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and exit out of here, and then we're going to click on uh, go back to this little icon, view Microsoft Excel. Okay, so we should be all good. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to insert our formula. So we just go equals color sum, and it even shows up as a function now. And we're going to select cell B4. That's the color that we want, green. And we're going to select the range that we want to sum. And then on this I go ahead and push F4 so that I can copy the, the formula down. Okay, and it shows up as zero right now. So what we're going to do, so now I got my formula uh, for my checks, for my ACHs, and for my wire. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I, I would go to determine which ones I'm going to pay by check, which ones I'm going to pay by ACH, and which ones I'm going to pay by wire. So to do that, I'm going to go here. I'm just going to do a, do a format painter. Let's see if this works with the numbers. And I assume that I'm going to pay a couple of these with check. Uh, I'm going to go back one and just, uh, instead of doing the format painter since it's messing up my numbers, I'm going to go into the uh, go into the actual color. I'm going to go ahead and put my green in here. Okay. And then now I can do my format painter. So I'll pay these three by check. And then uh, the next one, I'm going to go ahead and do some ACHs. Painter, do a couple ACHs, and then uh, we'll go ahead and do some wires. And that's how you do it. And so you can see all my checks are summed up. Matches 71,560. Totals my sum down here, 71,560. And our totals match here. And that is how you do a sum if by color. Um, so if you guys think this is helpful, you know, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Like I said, the, the function, I'm going to copy and paste that in the description. Um, and, uh, you know, if you think our tools are helpful, we have some stuff available at the store at accountingexcel.com. Feel free to take a look at it and, uh, go ahead and look around and we'll see y'all next time.